Hey guys, how's it going? T-Man Plays here with another Warno ranked game. Today we're going to be playing as the 79th uh, Tank Guards and we're versus the British 1st Armored. So, right from the get-go, really simple recon start. Just basically trying to get recon all over the center zone. Left-hand side here, just sending uh, a unit of infantry here, some Motoshoki grenade launcher here, because they'll have great line of sight in case he starts sneaking things through. They can also cover this area along the uh, tree line. And you'll see we're starting with two command units. This is just to get an early lead on the capture points because with this uh, map, it's a little bit more difficult to take this entire zone. Uh, so we want to make sure we at least try and have a lead in capture points there. T62M just going to be sitting here guarding this road in case he decides to push down there. Some Motostroki with Spurry RPO to protect the forest line here. Little Igla and another 30 mil that will eventually push up here to uh, provide fire support when I advance on this building. And some TO 55s as well as a T80 EV just to sit in the center here in case he decides to uh, go heavy on the push in the middle. And then just a BMP-2 that's going to be sitting on, on the back here with infantry to push up there. So right at the start, just seeing some SAS patrol and some of the forward deployable uh, Terrier Paras. But since we started with the two CVs, you'll see all we need is a 100 point lead to be able to get a win here. And we're already sitting at over 100 points. So at this point in the game, I could just go full on defensive if I wanted to and get the win that way as long as I protect all my zones. So, gonna go ahead and start moving some of my recon around as we do see that he has a Challenger Mark II over here. It's gonna be a problem for the uh, TO-55 here. Not really gonna be able to do much about that. He is gonna miss the second shot and we're just trying to retreat these into a safe spot. So right away, buying the SU-25 AT to deal with this. Uh, we're going to test out his AA defense since he's just kind of boldly sitting out this challenger in the open. And we're basically, since we see he's put such a big investment on the side, we're going to start trying to exploit the uh, left-hand side. So moving up my infantry as well, just to make sure he has nothing along this area. He goes ahead. Smokes off his challenger, but we spot it again, and then it disappears again. So not going to be able to get that. Do target the supply vehicle instead, take out his supplies, but a bunch of tracked rapiers and javelins in this area immediately shoot down the SU-25. So we're no longer just going to be able to fly those planes around. So just trying to catch out the javelin here with the T-80BV, and we're spotting some more of these forward deployable Terrier Paras. So, gonna now move my BTRs to help uh, enact as fire support for those. Challenger Mark II facing off against the T-80BB here. I'm gonna let one missile fly. It's gonna end up missing though. He gets a hit. We're gonna decide to smoke that off and disengage. Don't want to take too many more of those. And all my fire support now helping out with this infantry engagement. Gonna be able to deal with these terrier paras pretty easily. You'll see one of my CVs, I just have sitting back here in case he decided to flank around or something. I just wanna keep this alive, not get sniped. I also brought in some recon helicopters in the back line because I know the British First Armored has access to the foxes and we wanna make sure those aren't just running through our lines, taking out uh, what we have. So a little bit more defensive now as I do have the point lead and we're just trying to see kind of what he's doing. I have lost the SU-25. I have bought another one just to, you know, maybe get a shot on this if he pushes too far forward. I'm just going to try our luck again. But he's already disengaging. You'll see I'm swinging far right this time to then swoop in to the left. 
So instead of just coming over this angle, we're actually just kind of coming straight on. Gonna disengage though, because he's gonna smoke that off. And end up getting that hit. So survive on one bit of health, but we gotta pull that back again. Eagle able to take out the gazelle rocket there. And we're just getting more recon for this right side to be able to spot kind of what he's doing over here because I know he's starting to amass a bunch of units on this side. So Motostroki going to be in a good spot to deal with the SAS patrol, especially with the BTR fire support there. And this is a good unit to take out because they do come with the GSR trait, which basically allows them to get a plus one optic level whenever they are not moving. So very good unit to take out there. And we see another Challenger Mark II coming up on this side. Because he's able to spot my motorized Red Vecca, I know he has either an SAS patrol somewhere in this uh, tree line here or in these buildings. Because I can't spot any recon unit of his, so it has to be something with exceptional optics. And you'll see now three Challenger Mark IIs on the field. I do have a T-80U of my own. It's going to be firing a missile off there on his tank and I'm trying to get my recon to a better position so I can keep all these things spotted at once get another missile off there does a nice two damage but he's starting to get very aggressive on this right hand side so we're going to move the T-80U over to be able to deal with these warriors that are now pushing aggressively get another nice hit in there but he's going to smoke that off disengage so T-80BV moved to the middle, T-80U now moving to the right, and you'll see I have another T-80UD coming to this right hand side as well, just trying to match his uh, tank power, and we do end up actually spotting the rover CP there. Originally I thought these were actually the Sapuri recon instead of the mods for Advika, so the SAS patrol with their satchel charge is going to be able to easily deal with that. And T-80BV took a lot of damage there from the Challenger, but we also dealt a lot of damage in return. So just four points of health left. We survive on the two. Got to be able to pull that back to the supply vehicle and repair. Now trying to take engagements at decently close range with our T-80U. But as soon as he pulls the second one up, we're going to have to smoke that off because we don't want to just lose that right away. Our other T-80UD can be engaging from the other side. Preferably, it would have been nice to have these engaged at the same time. Um, but we weren't able to do that. And you'll see just the amount of damage that's coming on this UD. We're going to have to smoke that off, pull it back for repairs. I do at least sneak up this UD in order to take out the uh, warrior there. And right now, it's just all about the tank engagements and trying to keep our heavy tanks alive because he has at least two challengers here, a third one back here, and then a fourth one up in this corner. As you'll see, no movement on the left-hand side. Uh, no movement over here because I can't advance anything as long as he has the exceptional optics uh, SAS patrol there. So we're all just focusing on this right-hand side and basically whoever can destroy the other person's heavies uh, is going to come out victorious in this game. So, I did repair my UD with some supply. I've got another U that is now approaching, and I'm ordering some T-80Bs, because I simply just want to overwhelm his armor on this side. I also have this BB in a pretty decent spot, um, but he is going to move over a challenger to engage that so we don't want to take too many shots from that and we're going to pull that back so as soon as this t80 bv moved up i decide all right this is time i have a three to two tank advantage and you'll see right away getting some really good hits on the mk2 there gonna actually get the third shot off take that out now it's about engaging this second one get some nice hits in not enough to kill it though get an nice ammo explosion on that one which was huge and you'll see I'm just kind of pressing now 
DADU gets another challenger. So that's two challengers taken out, a third one with an ammo explosion. We know he has two more on this area. And I now have three heavies plus a fourth one that is repairing. So he's getting aggressive on this side now that I'm pushing on the right. Instead of just throwing these tanks to try and just take them out instantaneously, you'll see I'm moving across the infantry to basically spot everything. Now I can use all my heavies to uh, take out whatever he has in this tree line so that my tanks uh, can be safe whenever they do approach. And you'll see I'm moving up some recon now in this tree line to make sure he didn't sneak anything in here. On the left, just have a T-80 BV that's going to be holding the line here against um, all his stuff. He does have still a challenger on the side though. One T-80 BV not going to be enough to deal with that, so we do got to be mindful of that. And you'll see now that my tree is in this building, we're able to spot some scouts here, some recon, forcing him to pull all his stuff back. Challenger trying to escape. I believe, I guess it was the B V here. Got a nice side shot on that. Takes out another one. So, as far as we know, just the one Challenger MK2 left. TADU, going to be trying to deal with that, but don't want to lose it because we're already at such a huge advantage. We can just smoke that off, pull it back, and then I can move across by three uh, T-80s on this side. Take out some more recon there. And my T-80 BB on this side. Did enough to hold the line, so now we're able to repair that. Grenade launcher keeping the infantry at bay. And basically, we have him at a full retreat now on this right-hand side, and we have the advantage to be able to push. So I am going to move up my supply a little bit as my tanks are just a little slightly damaged and making sure to get recon in good positions so that I can see uh, what he's doing. Do lose a BV there to the Challenger. Didn't quite have the recon in position yet, so we did end up losing that. Now the recon in position though, gonna be able to easily take out that Challenger there. And our T-80 BV reinforcements have arrived, so now it's just all about dealing with the Milan Paris and the Challenger 2 on this side. Do lose another T-80U there. Not quite the best uh, micro, but now I've got some infantry advancing into his tree line. And that's going to be enough to cause him to surrender. As you see, we were trading uh, more positive. And just as I showcased here, taking out a Challenger, Taking out a challenger, another challenger, and another challenger. So four of his big boy tanks there all going down. And it was all about that one critical engagement. And that won us the game. Because we saw where he put most of his points. And we decided to counter that directly. And I knew if I could break him there, it would basically win me the game. And sure enough, that's what happened. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll catch you on the next one. Later.